So hello, hello, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm going to be giving the message for you today. This is for Sagittarius suns and those with significant or strong Sagittarian placements in their chart. If you know what house Sagittarius rules and what's in there, it might be able to give you some specific insights into a specific area of your life. All right. For those of you not familiar with me or the channel, I have no filter. I don't sugarcoat my readings. I read how I read. Um, so, you know, I'm always very respectful. If that's not your thing, you can sign off now. Otherwise, we're getting into this. Sag, <laughs> we got a bomb ass reading to start off the December zodiac signs. You are leading the way with really strong energy and a whole lot of blessings. So if you don't know what house Sagittarius rules in your chart, you should find out. Um, I pulled a few cards, right? I pulled a few cards. I started with my rainbow warrior activation deck and asked spirit what needs to be integrated into our energy in order to best serve us. And we got card number 46, which is the third eye. It's intuition, essence, spiritual force, telepathy it is all the visualization that we do um and our perspectives this is about understanding that the information you're getting the visual downloads you're receiving about things that are unfolding are accurate okay it's understanding that what you're seeing unfold and what you're sensing to unfold is accurate now if it's accurate what choices are you making or would you make that make that visual true? And if you don't like the visual, what actions can you take that would inherently change it, right? It's using your ability to see clearly what choices create what results. And you're using it to your advantage. Not only are you using it to your advantage, the Legacy of Light card that came out from my Sacred Rebel stack as the overall guidance is about Legacy of Light. Now, the Legacy of Light card, I'm going to read a bit for you. It says, you're being asked to honor the Legacy of Light that is your sacred birthright. Take nourishment and support from those that have come before you, your ancestral lines, not only in blood, but also in spirit. Perhaps these are the beings that have inspired and motivated you to live as a sacred rebel from your heart and with belief in yourself. The more you are nourished by this legacy of light <clears throat> from your past, the more you become a bearer of the legacy for those that will be supported by your light in the future. This is a sacred endowment from the great universal source of light to humanity. It is the light of wisdom, creativity, radical courage, love, and respect that is passed down from the heart of each generation to the next. The legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to refine and shine your essence in the world, to be like a sun, radiant and unapologetic for your nature. The oracle of legacy of light comes to you when you need confirmation that a creative choice you are making or have made or will soon make is one that is in alignment with your sacred purpose and spiritual path of growth. The legacy of light also asks you to call on the unconditionally loving support that exists for you every day. This light will offer you all manner of assistance. You know, it's like calling on your angels, calling on your guides, calling on your ancestors, calling on the people that inspire you. That peak in interest with you. It doesn't matter if you're drawn to the Druids or if you're drawn to ancient Egypt or if you're drawn to angels or if you're drawn to Fae. It doesn't matter if you love mermaids. Like your ancient ancestral medicine, whatever is specific to you and authentic to you, you can call on to guide you. You can absolutely call on to guide you, right? It's encouraging us. This oracle is guiding you to something in your family history or spiritual ancestry that is relevant to you now. Your spiritual ancestry can be recognized through the traditions, through the traditions and the cultures you are intrigued in and interested by. They do not have to be the same as the spiritual traditions that you were raised with in this lifetime, even though they may be. 
the influence of your history or spiritual tradition may be encouraging and constructive, but do not allow it to hold you back. Do not absorb unintentionally the hidden fears of others. Finally, if you need a jolt to recognize that you are a creative being entitled to explore your ingenuity, perhaps through taking a class or pursuing your own interests at home, this oracle brings a particular guidance that yes, this is a part of your path and you are encouraged to take it further. You will leave a legacy of light for the greater good upon this planet and you will be lovingly supported in many ways by the creative universal intelligence when you ask for help. If you don't know how to do that, start with your guides. Okay. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're seeing, whatever you're creating, even the action card is be in the present and dream of the future, right? When we dream, everything is possible. The number synchronicities too, by the way, are a little crazy. We got the 46, which breaks down to a 10, a 7, a 40, and the 17 with a star. And then we get into the 10 of cups, the three of pentacles, the chariot, which is a seven, and the sky father, which is the emperor, and is also a four. So we have lots of ones, fours, sevens, and a three, and indirectly eight, right, because of the 17s breaking down. Um, you could be seeing a lot of pa- a lot of synchronistic number patterns guiding you to let you know that you are being initiated into an angelic light, right, of stability, a higher stabilizing energy that's possible in creating miracles, right? It's a miracle vibration, a miracle mindset. This is about being so open and so faithful and so trusting in spirit that the only thing possible is healing. With the star card, that's the milestone. Okay. So you're seeing clearly. You can call in your guides to help you shift wherever needs to be shifted in order to make the best possible outcome and the highest good of all in the most effective and efficient way possible. All dreams can become a reality. What are dreams? Daydreams, night dreams, they're all visions. And all of your best visions can become a reality. And so as we get into the weeks, we have the Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Sky Father. This is feeling very grateful and full. Very grateful and full at the beginning of the month. At the beginning of the month, Sag, you might seriously feel like nothing could possibly get better. In your own personal life, emotionally speaking, you may feel truly and completely fulfilled. The three of pentacles and what I got when I saw the ants, it was like the little teeny things moving in the background that we don't notice, but are moving and working nonetheless towards a greater good, right? I feel like spirits doing little things that you could easily notice if you looked. It's not like it's completely hidden from you. I think spirit is moving little pieces right under your nose, (laughs) right under your nose. I feel like spirits lining things up and getting things ready. And I say that because the chariot card is like divine intervention. And with the horse with two heads, it's like you were looking in one direction. And yet if you looked in another direction, like you could see just how much is going on. It's miracles, the end, the final half of the month after, after you're, I think you're just feeling super fucking grateful. Spirit goes into doing all these little things for you right under your nose. And then it's like, boom, you see what spirit's been working on. You see what was going on right under your nose. These little blessings that were working. And we end with the emperor or the sky father, which means there is a certain level of mastery in your ability to choose your actions, integrating your third eye energy, calling on your hires or your higher self, calling on those energies to support you through decision making. 
to support you through the actions you're choosing or actively choosing not to take is extremely healing because when you're in the present and enjoying the present and in that attitude of gratitude for fucking everything, everything you've ever dreamed is possible. You've met, it's a mastery of masculine energy come the final week of this year. You know, I talked at the beginning of 2020 that 2020 was a foundation year. A foundation year that was building towards the rest of the decade. And this is the energy that you're moving into the rest of your decade with. You're going in with self-mastery. Mastery of your ability to choose and act according to your highest visions. Universe is already working miracles on your behalf to celebrate this grateful, eternal gratitude energy that you're in. So, with that said, Sag, keep it up. (laughs) Keep it up. Keep going. Like, make sure that you don't feel like you're forcing or pushing yourself or anything because you'll run out of stamina. Let the divine make it so easy for you. Simply hold gratitude, call in your guides and guardians and angels when you feel like you may need assistance moving forward because there's just a there's just a sense of confusion there. You're identifying a sense of confusion or a, a sense that some detail is missing. You're not quite ready to move forward on an action yet. You know what? Angels, I call you in. Help me make it clear. Give me some clarity. Help me make it clear. Bring light to what I can't see. Help me figure it out. I trust. I'll know what to do when, when I'm supposed to. I know you got my back. You can do that. You can legit do that. So have fun. Have really fun co-creating with the universe from this place of eternal gratitude and spiritual connection. Right? That our souls are bigger than our bodies. That our histories are more than this lifetime. And that our connection to our hires is more seamlessly solid than we would have ever originally thought. You're being 100% supported. 100%. Let the ones, fours, and sevens just continue to confirm that for you. I would also be super mindful or aware of dates that include ones, fours, and sevens. Because they might be significant for you this month. All right, there might be little little keys of knowledge for you to see through into the greater vision of spirit that's happening right under your nose. <laughs> All right, so I hope this helps, Sag. I hope you enjoy a wonderful, blessed December, and I look forward to serving you next year. Take care, everybody.